Hi everyone! Good afternoon and welcome to Be Happy TV. This is Maine of Maker Maine. So I'm with you this afternoon to teach you about acrylic painting. Yung mga pwede natin gamitin sa cake toppers natin and hindi lang sa cake toppers, many more actually. Pwede din sa mga ornaments, pwede din sa mga place for holders, yung mga place holders na ginagamit for catering businesses. Pwede din siyang table centerpieces. So lahat ng pwede natin na-discuss regarding acrylic paintings, sa mga acrylic blocks, and pwede rin natin gamitin ng mga techniques techniques and tips when using wooden blocks din. So, I, <laughs> hi everyone in the comment section. Hello to each and every one of you who are joining me this afternoon. I know this is a weekend and many of you are spending time with your family. That's why I'm very grateful that you guys are here with me. So, hello to Kari and hello to Miss Leia, Miss Gladys, Larry. Hi everyone! So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to be discussing first kung ano yung mga itatry ko na i-share with you na skills na na, na experience ko na all throughout my painting journey sa acrylic blacks. So first, I'm going to be discussing the brush strokes and then we are going to try to do the ombre painting technique and then we are also going to try to do the gradient painting techniques on acrylic toppers and the marbling technique which I really love. Gusto gusto ko yung pagmamarble. And then, pwede rin natin i-try if kasha pa sa time yung alcohol ink painting using acrylic blacks. So, yun, that's something that I'd really love to share. Pero, try natin kung kakasha pa sa time natin. Tapos, I would also like to encourage you guys to ask your questions in the comment section after our demo para mabasa ko ng maayos and I can and I can address kung ano man yung mga questions na yun. So, unahin natin yung uh, techniques. <laughs> Sabi ni Daryl, kala ko social na social yung maker studio. <laughs> yeah, ganda no, may piano pa. <laughs> How I wish. So, let's go ahead and transfer the camera to my workstation so we can try to see kung ano ba yung mga materials that we will be using for today's video uh, video demo. So, let me just shift my camera to my workstation. Okay, switching it to high definition for you guys and turning off the virtual background. So, hi, hello. So there you go. What you can see in my camera right now is my sample. This is what I did for last year's cake topper. So this says world's greatest farter. <laughs> we love putting a little wit kapag gumagawa tayo ng cake toppers. Di ba? Mas maganda kung medyo may, may funny side para mas nakakatuwa. So with this, I used alcohol ink and uh, permanent craft uh, craft vinyls. And then dito naman sa father, I used mirrored cardstock. So what we're going to try to do for today is to show you guys first kung ano yung mga painting techniques that I love using whenever I'm doing my um, cake acrylic um, hand-painted acrylic cake toppers. So first discuss natin yung paint. So available here sa Be Happy yung paint na Liquitex Basics Acrylics and they actually have a lot of colors in their uh, on their website. So kapag gumagawa tayo ng cake topper, we have to make sure that we use non-toxic paint. Paano natin malalaman when paints are non-toxic? Ito yung hahanapin natin na mark. This is the ACMI AP certification mark. Pag nakita niyo yung AP mark na to, it means your paint, your acrylic paint is safe to use. Lalo na if we are going to be using it with our kids kung gusto natin silang isama sa pagpipaint. So he here's another sample of an acrylic paint. Meron din siyang AP, ACMI AP mark. So you guys, you don't have to worry much about buying um, uh, expensive paints. As long as you see yung AP marks, that means it's non-toxic and it's safe for you to use. Of course, we also have to prepare our paint brushes. So I this is one of my favorite paint brushes. You can definitely purchase your paint brushes sa mga mga selling sites like Shopee. You can try some mga websites or so be happy if they also have these kinds of paint brushes. And then you also have to prepare a different uh, size ng paint brushes. So what I like using is a medium sized one and then a large sized one para ma-cover niya kaagad yung pinaka base plate ng acrylic topper natin. Usually kasi when, we're, when we are making acrylic cake toppers, what we make use is a 5 inch one like this one. This is an acrylic cake topper from Be Happy. You can definitely purchase this from their website. 
And this is 5 inches, 5 inches in diameter. So, magandang gumamit ng malaki-laki. Lalo na our cakes are usually naman 6 inches yung mga junior and then yung regular ones are 8 inches. So, mas maganda kung yung cake topper natin most likely mga 5 inches para mas may area tayo to work with when it comes to me painting and then putting acrylic, uh, acrylic, I'm sorry, for when, when it comes to putting permanent craft vinyl. So, <laughs> there you go. And then, of course, meron din namang mga cake topper na mga mirrored, like mirrored gold or mirrored na mga rose gold. You can definitely make use of those too. And pwedeng pwede din naman natin pintahan yung mga yon. Of course, I'll also be using, um, this is something that I'd like to share with you guys. I like using, mixing, uh, mixing spatulas like this one kasi it makes my life easier. <laughs> Pwede rin naman tayong gumamit ng toothpick and um, silicone spatulas. But mixing spatulas like this one, the plastic ones are a lot cheaper. But if you can find this one, these ones are also good. And then, of course, we have to have a painting palette ready. This is my favorite painting palette. This is from Oats. I, mean, I don't know if Oats is in the comment section. If she is, hi Oats. This is a painting palette made of resin, but you can definitely use ones that are made of metal or plastic. Pwedeng, pwedeng, pwede din yun kasi madali din maglinis doon. Kung wala kayong painting palette, pwede din naman sa plato. Yung before, I, I used to use yung mga ma, ma, malalapad na plato. Tapos doon ako sa likod, tinataog ko, doon ako sa likod nagmimix ng paint. Kasi that's very, very good to mix paint on. Dahil lalo na kung ceramic kasi mas madali natin mahahalo and mas scrape off yung paint. We can also make use of, the, of a painting brayer. This is a cheap brayer. Pero we have uh, different kinds of prayers in available in Be Happy on the Be Happy website as well. This I'm going to show you how you can use these types of prayers later on kapag ka gumagawa, gumagawa tayo ng mga ombre or gradient type ng painting mixes for use doon sa ating mga acrylic cake toppers. So there you go. Meron pa akong ibang paint brushes dito but I'll show you guys later kung paano natin gagamitin yung mga ito. So there. And then, of course, we have to have our um, double-sided foam tapes ready para ipangdikit dun sa cardstock natin. Because I like using cardstocks para magkaroon ng dimension yung acrylic cake topper. Diba usually we use craft vinyls only on top of our cake toppers, but we can definitely mix and mix mix it up and use different materials para magkaroon ng gradient. Great. I'm sorry, para magkaroon ng dimension yung topper natin and hindi siya flat tingnan. So again, hi to everyone in the comment section. If you'd like to share this uh, this demo, demo, this live demo, please do so para mas madami pa tayong co-crafters na makapanood because I think a lot of our co-crafters will really benefit with this uh, short tutorial because a lot of us are into cake topper businesses and these techniques that I'll be sharing with you guys I'm not like I'm not a pro at painting, but I hope na yung mga techniques na natutunan ko along the way would be really useful for all of us, lalo na for those who are using acrylic toppers for their bis small businesses. So again, let's go ahead and try to explore the different types of painting techniques. Uh, I'm also going to be showing with you guys. And dito yung Cricut Joyco with me, but I've already pre-cut my materials here. This is just a glittered silver, silver glittered cardstock, which you can purchase from Be Happy too. We'll be using this later on, and I'll be showing you how we can this simple silver gl glittered cardstock can actually level up the the aesthetics of your cake topper, lalo na if they are alcohol ink painted. So I've also pre-cut some of my materials like. The cardstocks and the smart vinyl that I used here for the world's greatest father and the father here is already pre-cut using mirrored gold cardstocks. So there you go. Let's make use of these later on. <clears throat> so first, I'd like to show you guys na kapag ka nagpipaint ako ng acrylic, ng acrylic toppers, what I usually do is I save one blank acrylic. In this case, ito yun. Meron ako laging isang blank acrylic na naka-save lang. Kasi pinagtetestingan ko lang siya ng mga paint. Usually, may mga request yung mga clients natin na specific colors. And minsan, hindi natin siya makukuha agad. So, what I do for me na to waste materials, lalo na kung mga acrylic toppers, is I save one. 
to use as my base uh, acrylic topper para doon ako magpa-practice every time meron akong tinatry kuhanin na color. So, let's try to let's try to replicate this one. Although this is made using alcohol ink, gumamit tayo ng acrylic right now na color blue and color white para magkaroon tayo ng iba-ibang type ng colors. So, ang first ko na itatry pakita ay yung simple brush strokes technique. So, let's just spread this wax paper a little bit here para hindi ako magkalat. <laughs> and then, meron akong nakaready na water here. So, this is a collapsible water container. Meron din available sa Be Happy na collapsible water water container if you guys are interested. Yung Himinia na collapsible, malaki yun. And it's really good when you're painting when you're painting acrylics kasi malaki talaga siya. So, marami, maririns na color. Hindi nyo kailangan mag, mag ditch ka agad ng water na malabo. So, let's go ahead and try to... <coughs> to use the biggest brush para ipakita kung how you can effectively do the brush strokes using your acrylic paints. So first, I'm going to go ahead and put a little blue here. And then I'm also going to be using white. Let me just get my white. There you go. So pagka nag... Pagka nag-mix tayo ng paint, it's always better to mix little amounts lang. Kasi konti lang naman yung amount na kakailangan ninyo when you are painting your acry acrylic toppers. Yung konting amount na yun, you can extend naman or you can make more mixes as you go along kapag ka na-figure out nyo na parang kulang. So let's mix this. So this is where the spatula comes in. Kasi mas madaling mag-mix ng color when you are using spatulas like this one. Hindi naman siya super expensive to buy, but it will make your life a lot easier if you are trying to mix colors using acrylic paints. Let's try to get the very rich color blue for, for our cake topper. So we are making a Father's Day cake topper today. I'll be using the same sentiments which I showed you earlier on the sample. There you go. So as soon as you find the color that you already want for your topper, you can definitely stop mixing and just put all the colors in one place so it's easier for you to pick it up with your paintbrush. I do not suggest using your paintbrushes as mixing uh, as, as mixing brushes kasi ang mangyayari, magsisip in dun sa, dun sa brush nyo here papasok yung color in between, tapos mahirapan kayong i-mix. So, mas maganda talaga kung gumamit kayo ng spatula or stick when mixing your paints. Again, I do not wet my brushes when I'm trying to paint my acrylic blacks. Mas gusto ko na hindi siya wet sa umpisa para kapag ka, pinake up ko yung color, yung paint ka agad yung mapipake up niya. So, kapag ka brush strokes, Using your paint brushes, I recommend using large paint brushes kaagad, especially for beginners, because it will make applying the colors so much easier. So hindi kayo mahihirapan mag-spread ng colors kapag malapad kaagad yung paint brushes nyo. But then again, if you already have then paint brushes like this ones at home, then definitely try din naman. Pagka manipis yung paint brushes nyo, what I suggest is to not repeatedly do the strokes one after the other. You have to wait for a for a bit while para mag dry yung paint. So let's go ahead and try this technique out using the thick brush that I have here with me. So what I usually do is to make sure that all the colors are there sa pinaka tip lang ng brush because this will make applying the color a lot easier. So dab it a little bit. And then holding the paint, holding the blank acrylic here, what you just have to do to, to have that effect na parang single brush stroke lang and then maganda yung magiging dating walang masyadong dumi is to just wipe it in a single stroke. Huwag kayong babalik. So let's do that right now. There. So kapag nakita nyo na may mga blank space, maganda yung effect niya kapag ka-wipe in a single in a single stroke lang pag may nakita niyo na may mga blank space tayo dito that's when you can go back and then make sure na wag niyo nang tatapakan or tatap tatapalan yung mga sides na maganda na yung naging effect like this one maganda na yung effect niya here 
So let's not try to ruin that. Dito lang natin lagyan ng paint sa baba na ito. So you, you have to feel your you have to feel your paintbrush kasi minsan yung paintbrush natin nakadepende din sa paintbrush natin kung ano yung magiging result nung pagpipaint natin sa acrylic. So again, i-cover lang natin yung part na walang paint. Again, using one stroke lang. Huwag tayong pabalik-balik. There you go. So, kapag ganyan, usually kasi meron mga place cards na ginagamit sa mga party, especially yung mga nasa tabletop, yung mga number place cards or name place cards. Usually what the clients like, yung mga single strokes lang with their motif color. Kapag ganyan, this is what I advise. Maganda yung... Maganda yung look ng topper kasi solid na solid yung color and then wala siyang yung wala siyang yung mga streaks na makikita. You don't you won't have that kapag ka hindi niyo nilagyan ng water yung acrylic paint niyo. So again, just mix for the color that you like. After mixing for the color that you like, you have to dab your paint brush yung tip lang and then make sure that you brush your paint lightly and wag matiin doon sa pinaka acrylic base niyo or doon sa acrylic black niyo for you to get that single brush stroke na meron magandang dating yung strokes dun sa gilid. Maganda yung gilid niya kasi meron siyang parang organic brush strokes lang. So, hindi kayo mahihirapan mag-handle nung paintbrush nyo kapag ka malaking brush ka agad yung ginamit nyo. So, again, after nung brush stroke, try natin gawin yung ombre. Yung ombre naman is when you're trying to do a, a certain color tapos from light to dark siya. Let's wipe this acrylic blank off. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. I like keeping one acrylic blank para meron akong practice. Practice material. So, hindi tayo mahihirapan maghanap ng materials when we are practicing and hindi rin tayo mag-waste ng materials. So, when you're trying your cake toppers, hindi ba meron yung client natin pinagawa ng cake topper, tapos we find that the color is a little hard to get. But pwede rin tayong gumamit ng mga practice materials like this para hindi tayo nagsayang ng mga blank acrylics. So just wait for me for a bit lang. Just there. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to get the ombre, the ombre, the ombre painting technique. Just gonna wipe my paintbrush for a little bit. Pag nag-o-ombre naman ako, what I like using is the brayer. So, dalawang type ng painting techniques yung pwede natin gamitin for trying to achieve that ombre look. Let's use a little white here. Medyo makalat lang yung kamay ko. When I'm painting, it's usually like this. So, don't mind the mess, guys. Um, anyway, if you have questions, you can raise your questions in the comment section below after we've, we've um, done the painting session. So, kapag nag-o-ombre ako, I usually make use of a thinner brush kumpara dun sa bigger brush na ginagamit ko when doing the single brush stroke technique. And then, you may find it funny, but single brush and I also make use of my hand. I have a dear friend, si Miss Leia, and there was one time that we actually did a phone call um, with with acrylic painting, and then I showed her the the brush, the finger brushing technique, and it's it's a little crazy at first, kasi syempre, di ba? Hindi naman hindi naman ta, lahat tayo comfortable with using the fingers para maging messy, but you can definitely try to do that too, lalo na if we don't have a lot of paint brushes. So kapag brush yung gamit nyo, all you have to do is to paint the darker color dun sa taas or sa baba, whichever you prefer, and then paint the lighter color, in this case yung white dun sa baba, and then repeatedly stroke it in one direction lang, wag yung pabalik-balik. So puro pa ganun lang tayo, lift pagkapunta sa end, and then balik ka lang ng balik hanggang sa mag-mix yung color in the center. So in this case, nagiging sky blue yung gitna. 
So maganda yung nagiging effect niya, lalo na if we are aiming to create that a uh, very, very good ombre, ombre look. So again, if you'd like to add more color, usually hindi na natin ma-edit kung ano yung na yung na-mix na niya initially dun sa ilalim. Kasi once nag-dry up na yung initial paint natin, hindi na natin siya pwedeng balik-balikan pa because the, the mixture that we're trying to achieve, achieve nandun na siya sa unang layer na nag-dry up. Kaya mas maganda kapag ka nag-mix tayo ng color and nag-try tayo mag-achieve ng mga gradient or ombre effect, mas maganda kung sa umpisa pa lang, meron na tayo kaagad idea which color we are actually trying to uh, create doon sa ating acrylic black. So, ito na yung output natin with using the single brush and then repeatedly brushing it lang outwards or in one direction. Kapag naman gagamit tayo ng kamay lang, wala, let's say wala tayong brush, I'm gonna have to wipe it off first. I have baby wipes here to wipe it off. But of course, at home, you can definitely wash your acrylic blanks with water. Kasi yung acrylic paint naman natin, as long as it's not yet dry, you can definitely rinse it off. So maganda talaga meron tayong practice blank para hindi tayo magsasayang ng materials. Let me just wipe the, the, uh, the wipes. The rest of the fluid left by the wipes there. So, yan. Kapag naman finger lang gagamitin natin, we can also do the same. And, I mean, we can also achieve the ombre look by using our own fingers. So, at first, we have to paint using a paintbrush and then make sure na hindi manipis yung, pinip, yung paint na nilalagay natin. Kasi what we are going to do is to use our fingers to actually mix the colors up. So, yan. And then, sa top, yung darker color, which this in this case is blue. Sa pag-mimix pa lang ng brush, makikita mo na na nag-mimix yung color eh, kapag ka, paulit-ulit mo siyang ini-stroke. But then, you can use your fingers and then you can mix them all together. I don't know if it's, if it's actually seen on the screen, pero as you do the circular motion, motion at the back, like this, Yung color sa front, nag-mimix siya really well. And it's gonna mix really nicely dun sa front ng acrylic topper natin. Again, this is just what I'm doing sa back part using my own finger, my pointy finger. And then just continuously do that. Wag lang madi-en kasi pag madi-en, yung paint natin mawawala na dun sa base acrylic. So dapat lightly do so lang. Kapag ka gusto nyo mas i-mix ng um, mas i-mix more yung color, then you may try to to put a little more pressure dun sa pag rotate or pag gawa ng circular motion using your own finger. So, ayan. Nagkaroon na siya ng parang ombre cloudy effect dun sa pinaka-acrylic topper niya. Yay! <laughs> I like this. I personally like this kasi parang nakaka-relax siya tingnan. Parang skyline lang yung dating. So, pwede nyo itong gawin with other colors for example, you're trying to mix red and orange or red and yellow. Yung gitna niya magiging orange and we're gonna show that later na sa gradient. So, yun yung technique ko for finger painting your acrylic blanks. So, you can definitely do that as well maliban dun sa brush na paggamit natin kanina. So, again, pag yung brush ang ginamit nyo, makikita nyo na yung acrylic blank nyo, pag pinaint nyo, may strokes din siya pero lightly lang as long as you don't put so much pressure on your brush when you are stroking it in one direction. Kapag naman finger yung ginamit nyo pang strokes using circular motion, ganito yung likod niya because you kept repeating the circular motions here, motion here. Pero yung front niya, it will give you a really nicely blended ombre effect dun sa acrylic topper nyo. Ganito din yung technique with reagent. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off again. So yan, pa. gamit na gamit yung acrylic blank ko ngayon. <laughs> Bumalik na ang ating, meron na siyang return of investment kaagad kasi gamit na gamit na siya. <laughs> this is my go-to practice acrylic uh, acrylic blank kasi I don't like using the cake, cake topper blank for practice dahil yung stick niya baka mabali. At least when you're practicing using this ornament acrylic blank, matibay-tibay siya kasi hindi siya mababali kaagad. So again, I'm gonna wipe off the excess water for a bit. 
And I'm going to try to show you guys how it would look like if we are doing the gradient technique. Let me just um, try to get the colors that we are going to use. So let's see, what can we do? What can we mix the blue? Let's go ahead and try to mix the blue with a little, with a little gold, gold, yeah. Yellow ochre, yellow. Sometimes yung mga most weird, mga pinaka weird na color combinations and actually give you very, very cool uh, looking painting. So, wag kayong matakot mag-experiment sa colors. Yes, available lahat ng mga acrylic paints sa Be Happy Shop. Sa Be Happy, we have Liquitex acrylic paints and these paints are really good. Madali siyang, madali siyang i-mix and they're really opaque. Kaya if you guys are interested to try them out, meron din mga basic packages ng Liquit Liquitex acrylic paints doon. Hindi kayo mahihirapan kasi meron na silang mga ready na mga, mga mixes ng colors that you can buy on sets. Na, nice idea for the acrylic blank. Now, we're going to try to go ahead and do the gradient effect. I mean, yeah, the gradient effect. So, we're going to use white and blue again. We're mixing it thoroughly and then nagkakaroon siya ng parang sky blue, sky blue tone on our acrylic blank. Again, when you're doing this, it's best to put colors that you can mix, wag yung sobrang onte and wag din yung sobrang dami. Because when you put too much, then mago overflow yung color nyo dun sa blank, dun sa brush, and dun sa acrylic blank. But when you put sobrang less naman, ang mga yayare, mahihirapan ka yung mag mix. So we are going to put the golden shade of yellow here. And then for the brush technique, what we have to do is to just keep repeating painting. The acrylic blank using your brush. Pabalik balik lang in one direction. Para mag mix yung color sa gitna. Again, dun lang kayo sa part kung saan yung gusto ng mix yung color. Kasi kapag kato maas yung brush nyo, yan na sa gitna lang yung color niya. So this one looks kind of like a sunset to me. Maganda yung itsura niya. Parang nag mix yung color ng orange with the blue, which is really cool, right? So kapag ka, nagta try kayo yung mag mix, try to keep the brush strokes. strokes to the center lang of your acrylic blank para doon lang siya sa gitna magmi-mix. Kasi kapag kasi sinobrahan nyo sa taas, aakyat din yung orange tone and yung yellow tone and ma-occupy niya na yung pinaka-color yung pinaka-color doon sa nasa taas ng acrylic blank nyo. So let's try to avoid that by not going beyond the center part of your acrylic blank when trying to mix using a brush. So, ganun lang kapag kagagawa kayo ng gradient. So, kapag gradient color, pwede actually tayo gumamit ng more than two colors. So, let's say you want to mix a little bit of red as well. Pwede nyo rin siyang lagyan ng red. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of red here. And then, lalagyan natin siya sa baba. And then, same as with what we did earlier, all we need to do is to just keep brushing. Doon lang sa part kung saan nyo siya gustong mag-mix. Not going beyond para hindi umakyat masyado yung red. So there. Doon sa, dun sa pinaka-acrylic blank nyo, kapag tinaob nyo na siya, makikita nyo na meron magandang gradient color na, nang, na nag-mix doon sa acrylic. Now you can also do this kapag gumagamit kayo ng mga wooden blanks. Pero sa wooden blanks, of course, ang makikita yung front kung saan kayo nag-mix. Whereas kapag acrylic blanks naman, ang makikita yung likod. Yan. So meron tayong cool sunset tone here na nagawa using the colors blue, yellow, and red. So yan. Ganun tayo mag, mag, tayo mag paint ng gradient when using paint brushes. But again, you can also do the same thing when you are using your fingers. So if you don't have paint brushes, Usually, you can definitely paint them using your own hands. So let's wipe this off right now and try to experiment using our own hands or fingers in making a gradient painting, a gradient painted acrylic topper base. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this 
remove the colors from my blank so we can reuse it and experiment with it using my own fingers or my own hands. Again, all of these guys, all of these materials, guys, are actually available in Be Happy. My my paintbrushes. I'm not sure if uh, there are these these sizes of paintbrushes in Be Happy Crafts, but the acrylic paints are definitely there. The acrylic blanks too are there. Maraming cake topper blanks na available din doon, and they also have different sizes. So if we are aiming to create a uh, a gradient look. Using our own hands, if we don't have large paint brushes, then we can definitely do so. We can definitely try to paint our blanks using our own hands. So we can do this by using a smaller brush and putting the color first before we mix it using our fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and put the blue. And then I'm going to put the yellow here. Kulang na ako sa yellow. Again, ganun yung mangyayari guys kapag ka, hindi enough yung paint na nilagay natin. We have to make sure to use enough paint para ma-glide natin yung color smoothly across our topper or our blank. Kapag hindi enough yung paint na nilagay natin, ganun yung mangyayari like what happened earlier. Maraming streaks na makikita. This one, hindi enough yung color kaya may mga streaks kayo na nakikita doon sa front ng acrylic blank nyo kapag tinaob nyo yung acrylic blank. Let's put the, the red here. And then what we can do when using our fingers to mix them all together it's just to glide our fingers in a circular circular motion doon sa colors na nilagay natin para magmix siya very well with each other. So you'll be surprised how much you can actually do when using your own hands kapag nagpipaint kayo. Kasi hindi lang, hindi lang siya ang painting. It's not only exclusive to using paintbrushes. You can definitely use a load of different materials when you're trying to achieve a certain effect. So, yeah, nag-mix na yung red natin and yellow just using my fingers. So, now I'm going to go ahead and try to mix them all together with the blue. So, medyo nag-dry na yung blue kasi I only put a very little amount. Pero makakapag-create din tayo ng gradient paint color using the same technique. So, let me just get a little more white para ma-mix natin yung blue along with the yellow and the red. Don't be scared to experiment with colors, especially if you are new into trying painting. Kasi mas maganda yung mas maraming colors kayo na natatry when, try, when using acrylic paints. Kasi mas maganda na ma-explore nyo kung ano yung iba't ibang colors na pwede nyo gamitin when trying to get a certain effect. So yan. Ganun yung magiging effect niya, magkakaroon din kayo ng gradient look using your own fingers or your own hands. Just make sure that when you're using the cir circular painting motion, mabublend nyo ng maigi yung colors before mag-dry yung acrylic paint doon sa acrylic blank natin. Kasi once nag-dry na siya, hindi na natin siya mabublend eh. It's gonna be hard to blend kapag nag-dry na. So make sure that you mix it before letting it dry. Usually naman, pag humid ng place, the acrylic paint doesn't dry up fast. So dito sa room ko, medyo dry yung dry yung yung air because it's really cold. Kaya mabilis mag-dry yung acrylic paint. So yan. Ganun yung pag-achieve ng gradient technique. Now, how about yung marble technique? So I'm going to sh share with you guys then kung ano yung yung gamit kong technique kapag nagma-marble ako ng paint using my uh, paint brushes or my fingers. Kapag marbling, ang masasuggest ko is for us to pick a dark color and a light color. So meron tayong light and meron din tayong dark. Hindi pwede na all light and all dark yung gagamitin natin kasi hindi makikita yung streaks na tinatry natin i-achieve when painting and trying to get the marble, the marbled effect. So for this sample, 
I'm going to make use of white, the, uh, the golden yellow shade here, and then a little bit of black too. Let's fold my cricket joy here because it might get painted. <laughs> I think I left my black downstairs. So let's just make use of brown. Sorry guys, naiwan ko yung black ko sa baba. So gamit na lang tayo ng brown. So for this painting technique naman, ang masasuggest ko is for us to use a paintbrush na pwedeng manipis lang yung strokes. Actually, yung mga kiddy paintbrushes, yung mga gamit ng mga children uh, in, in grade school, you can definitely use those kind of brushes then. Tapos, you make use of these brushes para magkaroon ng lines doon sa ating, doon sa ating cake topper or acrylic blank or wooden blank. This, this technique, hindi ko siya ma-advise uh, ma for... Um, for wooden blocks kasi hindi nyo siya ma-appreciate ma kapag ginaob nyo yung acrylic. So, just put random lines here and there. And then, after putting some random lines there, magdab lang kayo sa finger nyo ng color everywhere. Just anywhere that you'd want that you want, you want your darker shade to be. And then, the lighter color is what we are going to use to spread these colors together. And then just lit, uh, flip over flip over your acrylic blank and then dun tayo magi spread So you would see kung ano yung mag magiging, magiging effect while you are spreading, trying to spread the colors using your own fingers. So this usually really is effective, lalo na kapag ka gumagamit tayo ng ng strong colors together with lighter colors kasi nagre-create talaga siya ng marble-like effect and marble-like finish. So again, ang ginagawa ko lang is to circular, moving my fingers in a circular manner para mas spread yung color and then mag-create siya ng parang marble kapag ka nagmi-mix sila with each other. So you just have to yeah, nawawala pa lang sa screen. You just have to make sure to keep spreading the colors together para yung darker shade ng color, kakalat siya, and then the lighter shade of color, magmimix naman siya dun sa intermediate shade of color na tinatry natin gamitin. So make sure that you use colors that complement each other, o kaya naman same family shade ng color. So kung halimbawa, yung tinatry nyo gamitin na marble, na pang marble ay black, then you can make use of white para mas spread yung black and magkaroon siya ng marble-like na texture. Kapag naman brown yung pinapang marble effect nyo, then you can make use of white and a little brown, uh, tinge ng brown na yellow para mas spread naman yung color nicely and magkaroon ng marble-like appearance. So again, ganun lang. Kailangan nyo lang siyang i-spread. Tapos meron na kayong parang marble yung look na merong um, na marble yung look na cake topper or acrylic black. Ito maganda for place cards actually kasi yung mga weddings and debuts yung mga e event, they usually, you know, demand yung mga classy look na mga place cards. And these ones, you can definitely sell. You can make and sell. Lalagyan nyo lang ng vinyl na numbers or vinyl with their names on it. And then they can put it on the table as place cards for their guests. Oh, maganda, siyang, maganda siyang gawin na sa technique because you can control where the colors are going by doing the circular motion. And then what's good is pag tinaob nyo, clean yung likod niya because you use the circular motion to spread the paint and create that marbled look. So maganda talaga siyang technique and matipid kasi ang gamit lang natin fingers and hands. So meron na tayong marbled look na cake topper. So again, I will wipe off ko lang to para mapakita ko naman sa inyo how we can do we can achieve the same effect kung meron tayong um meron tayong gel press. I think Janus, one of my co-ambassadors here in Be Happy was able to do a demo before using the gel press. You can definitely use the same tool and the same technique para gumawa ng cake topper na merong marbled look. So how do we do that? Let me get the gel press and show you how we can do the same. We can do the marbling technique using the gel press. Meron akong sipon. I don't know if halata niyo. <laughs> but maya, may sipon ako. So minsan maririnig niyo ako sumising hot. So bear, bear with me, guys. 
there. This is my gel press. It's also available in Be Happy. So you can definitely purchase it from their website as well. Let me just remove the cover so I can use it for you guys. There you go. Pag gumagamit naman kayo ng gel press, mas madali siya actually gamitin using your cake toppers na mismo. Kasi yung cake toppers, di ba, may handle na siya compared with this one na walang handle. So this is a regular cake topper, may handle na siya, which you can definitely hold on to when using the gel presses. Pero kung wala naman, you can also make use of your um, of your ornaments as a sample or as a practice material din. Let me wipe the excess fluid from my ornament so we can use it. So kapag gel press yung gamit, we can definitely create the marble technique as well by using colors na dark light. Again, lighter color, imimix natin into darker color. So for this, since we are trying to make a Father's Day cake, so let's use blue and then... Let's mix the colors together in a very random manner. There. This painting technique lang, kapag binaliktad natin yung acrylic cake topper, medyo meron siyang ibang color na makikreate. So dapat pag ganun, medyo mas careful lang tayo. And pwede naman natin patungan ng paint yung likod ng cake topper natin kapag ka natuyo na siya totally. And then, let's go ahead and try to mix them up randomly lang. Yung iba, ang ginagawa nila for this technique, actually, nakita ko din sa, sa, sa TikTok, sa YouTube, sa Facebook, mga videos. What they do is to crumple, the, to crumple a plastic sheet of paper and then they just crumple each... You just crumple the plastic and let it go. And then pag open nun, meron na kaagad marble-like marble, marble -like texture, di ba? So we, you can also do that. You can also definitely do that. But let me just show you guys how it can be done using this technique. So pag kani-roll niyo yung brayer, it immediately creates that kind of look. Yan, meron siyang texture na kakaiba, but really good and maganda. So again, it's like a marble texture na... Maganda yung itsura niya talaga. And then what you just have to do is to press your acrylic topper on it para makuha ng acrylic topper nyo kung ano man yung color na nilagay nyo dito sa gel press nyo. So let me just wipe this kasi mabilis mag-dry ang paint dito sa room ko para hindi mag-dry yung paint ka agad. Yan. So let's go ahead and press our topper here. Make sure to press it tightly. Press it really well. So dito na papasok yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina na mas magandang gamitin talaga yung cake topper with this type of um, painting technique kasi meron siyang holder ka agad that you can lift. So this this time I'm using my my ornament practice material. Kaya hindi ko siya malilift basta kasi wala siyang holder. So yan, meron na tayo kaagad marble marble look na ornament. Which is really cool, di ba? Kasi maganda siya, maganda siya kaagad tingnan. Pero sa likod kasi, meron siyang texture eh. Hindi siya clean, clean swipe. So what we can do para malinis yung titsura ng topper natin is to top it off with a paint of the same color ng lightest... Alexa, stop. With a paint of the same color, the lightest color na ginamit natin for our cake topper. So yeah, kapag ka-dry na yung paint, pwede natin siyang patungan ng white. Para yung white, yung makikita dun sa may part na may mga holes. And then it will also give us a very good effect. So try ko na lang patungan ngayon before the paint actually dries up. Kasi para hindi sayang yung paint natin. And then para I can reuse my topper and show you a different technique pa ulit mamaya. Okay, so again, the, all of these materials, guys, are available at Be Happy. You can definitely purchase acrylic paints and blank acrylics there sa website nila. And then you can use my code um, from Be Happy too when trying to purchase. Again, we're on the 45th minute of our demo. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my code here. You can use this code on the Be Happy website in purchasing materials for use in your cake topper crafts, whether you're doing this for your loved ones at home or doing this for your small businesses, 
these techniques can definitely help and you can purchase the same materials on the Be Happy website. Use my code TOP10 to purchase cake topper materials on the Be Happy website and get a 10% discount on your total purchases. And of course, guys, when you're using my code, you definitely are helping me bring new ideas as well because this gives me, this, this also empowers me and gives me a little um, commission when you're using my code. So thank you guys for those who are going to be using my code and for those who have used my code in the past. Sobrang na-appreciate ko po talaga kayo. Thank you. Thank you so much. So ayan, meron na fill in ko na yung color na walang nakalagay dun sa blank natin kanina. And ito na yung pinaka final look niya. So ang ganda diba? It's, it's very marbly but it is also solid. Kaya nakakatuwa siya. So, pag ganito, lalagyan na lang natin ng uh, solid color na craft vinyl. I like using permanent solid colored vinyls kapag ka nag-work with cake toppers na may marble painting kasi mas nakikita yung details. Pwede din naman na lagyan nyo ng offset, solid color na light, and then may offset na dark para kitang-kita yung sentiment na ilalagay nyo doon sa cake topper nyo. So, I'm gonna wipe this off. Again, so I can show you how to do the gradient technique kapag ka gumagamit ng gel press naman. So, thank you guys for staying here with me this afternoon. And a lot of you are watching. There are 50 plus people watching in the comment section. Thank you so much, guys. And I hope, I hope what I'm sharing with you right now is worth the time. So, I'm gonna try to show you guys how to use naman the gel press when you are doing a gradient effect. So, I think kung may gel press kayo, you'll find that this technique is actually a lot easier than using the brush technique. Pero kung wala kayong gel press, gel press, the brush technique, and the finger painting technique are actually two really cool techniques that you can use as well. So, let me just wipe the excess fluid here. <clears throat> Sabi ko sa inyo, gamit na gamit na tong blank na to eh. <laughs> So, itatawag ko na lang yung gel press ko kasi I can clean this naman later on. So, itatawag ko lang siya so you guys can see. There. I'll use the other side para mas matulis tayo. And then, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the gradient technique when painting using your gel press. So, here, I'm gonna be using yellow. And then, I'm gonna be using the darker yellow sa gitna. And then, red naman dito sa, huwag nyo nalang patsin yun yung blue, ha? nasa kabilang side na yun. Red naman dito sa pinaka lower portion. So, when you have a gel press, this is a lot easier kapag ka nagtatry kayong gumawa ng gradient or ombre technique. So, what we have to do is to keep rolling our brayer para mag-mix yung yellow, yung darker yellow, and yung red. Let me try to wipe the brayer ulit kasi meron pa siyang mga blue stuff. Again, having the having the wipes is actually really convenient pero if you have if you're doing this at home, you can definitely use water lang para mas madali mas madaling mag-rinse. Then you just have to roll it over repeatedly. Medyo masyado ko yata na pagkahiwa-hiwala. <laughs> Yan. So by doing that, mamimix natin yung color really nicely. There. O ba instant, ang ganda ka agad nung look na na-achieve natin. Pati yung nasa brayer maganda. It's so hard to remove the color of the brayer because it's been mixed really well. So after that, what we have to do is to press our acrylic blank on top. Just find the space where you like the mixture of the color a lot better than everywhere else. There. I'm gonna go ahead and press that nicely. Medyo wipe ko lang a little bit yung brayer ko para hindi naman mag-stick yung color kapag ka nag-dry up na. Alright, so, if it press lang, ay! Ay! <laughs> if press lang natin yung acrylic topper natin nicely, you can use another brayer to do that too. There you go. And then lift it up afterwards. There. So, sumama na siya kaagad dun sa acrylic natin. And then, fill in the parts lang na walang color. 
just dab it with your using your finger. Actually, kahit hindi nyo i-fill up yung parts na walang color, it would look well kasi meron siyang certain effect. You know, I don't know if it can be seen on the camera, pero meron siyang certain effect na maganda. Let's go ahead and put a white background on it para makita yung effect na sinasabi ko here. Yan, meron siyang certain effect na parang, parang the paint went all over it. Tapos may mga parts siya na na may mga parts na may mga strokes na very, very unique on its own. And I think if you're going to be using this for your businesses, then halimbawa you're selling acrylic cake toppers, then this, this will definitely give a character, a unique character to your cake topper, to the cake topper that you are trying to create. So yun yung gradient technique na sinasabi ko. Again, when you have a prayer, you can also use your brayer directly on your topper. Pero ang magiging problem ng yung side, if you are going to be doing that, I'll show you guys how it will look like. Smooth yung magiging paint. Pero manipis siya. So meron tayong parang translucent yung magiging dating. Kapag dunun naman yung technique na ginamit, na ginamit natin, what I suggest is for us to use uh, glittered cardstock. Silver glittered cardstock at the back of your topper. Kasi kapag merong silver glittered cardstock, the light will be reflected with the cards uh, on the cardstock. And then maganda yung magiging effect ng cake topper natin. Let me show you guys how it will look like. So this is a basic, uh, basic talaga. This is a silver glittered cardstock from Be Happy. You can also purchase these kinds of cardstocks on their website. And you can put the cardstock at the back of your topper. And once you do so, makikita nyo na meron siyang light na siya shine through dun sa topper and maganda yung magiging effect niya. Kasi it's not just the paint that you are seeing. Meron ng specific light na nakikita dun sa pinaka topper natin. Let me try to close my window so baka better yung maging, maging itsura. Yan. So I don't know nakikita niyo yung parang reflection ng light dun, na nagsha shine through dun sa silver glittered cardstock natin. This will give your toppers a very unique character as well. So Let's move on to the next painting technique. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys then the, the alcohol painting technique. Let me just remove this. So for those who are doing resin crafts, yung alcohol painting technique is actually well used ng mga resin crafters natin. Kasi yung alcohol paints, they mix with resin really well. Tapos maganda rin siyang gamitin on our acrylics. Kasi yung alcohol paint, it will give you a resin-like acrylic finish, pero hindi naman tayo gumamit ng resin. Pero maganda yung magiging effect niya. So let me just go ahead and wipe this paint from my acrylic blank here para malinis natin yung paint very well. Medyo hinihinga lang ako ng slide because of the sipon. <laughs> You guys, if you have any questions, write it down so you can we can go ahead and answer them later on after this short painting um, tips and tricks. I can definitely try to answer as much questions, questions as I can. So again, if you are buying your acrylic paints and your cake topper blanks, go do so and purchase from Be Happy, the Be Happy website and use my code TOP10 to get 10% off your total purchase. So... Again, thank you so much for those of you guys who have been using my code and for those of you who will be using my code. Um, acrylic Paints at Be Happy website is Liquitex and they have a lot of shades available there right now. You can definitely play around with so many colors there na pwede nyo gamitin on your painting, uh, painting sessions. So these are just good for businesses who are making cake toppers. You can definitely use these techniques too when painting at home, lalo na when we are painting with kids or if we have um, activities at home that we know our family would well, would enjoy. You can definitely do the same the same techniques using acrylic paints. So I have here my alcohol inks. Again, ito yung sample natin kanina, this one. I actually used alcohol inks to create those um, marble type na finish dun sa likod. And then yung likod niya, it's white because the back is actually 
um, tasted with glittered cardstock, silver glittered cardstock. So, maganda yung itsura niya kasi parang nag, nag-glitter yung, yung pinaka-paint sa likod. But it's actually just illusion dahil ginamitan natin ng glitter cardstock. So, again, I'm gonna show you guys how you can play around with alcohol inks. With this, you're gonna need to use a blower. Kung walang blower sa bahay, use a straw. Tapos hihipan nyo yung straw para mag-spread yung alcohol around your acrylic base. Kung wala namang blower, pwede rin. Kung, kung you're really into crafting and you know, you're, you're, you've been trying a lot of things and you have heat guns at home, then you can definitely use heat guns too. So for now, I'll be using heat my heat gun. And then we will be using uh, blue... Shades of blue na alcohol ink and a little of black as well. And let's try to experiment by putting gold. This is just gold powder. This is also being widely used by resin crafters. So we can use these materials by uh, in, in actually in making paper cake toppers, paper cake toppers, acrylic cake toppers. So what we have to do is to drop your alcohol ink directly on your acrylic lamp. So again, drop them lang. And then make sure to recover it agad. Cover, I mean, cover the, put the cap back on and cover it agad. And then let's put on a little black. There you go. And then let's blow it. Let's put air on it. So kapag yung gamit nyo is a regular blower, then hindi siya kagad mag-dry up. So I'm using my heat gun here. So mabilis siya mag-dry up. So kapag nakakuha na kayo ng specific patterns, you can add more. So, ganito ko lang ginawa yung Father's Day cake topper that you saw earlier. And then put random, put the colors randomly para mag-spread siya nicely into your acrylic paint. Kapag ka regular blower yung gamit, hindi ka agad magda-dry yung colors so hindi kayo mahihirapan. Pero when you're using heat gun or yung mga regular blowers, ay yung mga blower na may kasamang heat, then mas mabilis magde-dry up yung alcohol ink dun sa topper na. And then just... You would see na nagpo-form na siya ng specific shapes. And then meron na rin siyang nagpo-form na mga lines. While you are trying to dry to dry it, or you know, while you are trying to play with it by drying it using your blowers, then you can add gold bits of gold, any powder gold, any makeup gold powder will do. Kapag doing this technique, magic spread lang yung gold ko na lang. You can also manipulate the colors too by using your own spatula and then spreading the colors to where you want them to be. There. And then make sure to allow it to dry and wipe kung ano man yung sumobra dun sa ilalim ng acrylic top, ng acrylic base nyo. Let's just wait for all the alcohol ink to dry up. You can use as little as you want using this painting technique kasi Yung alcohol, yung alcohol ink naman, nag-spread siya on its own. Nag-create siya na sarili niyang pattern kapag ka dinadry niya siya. So, hindi kayo mahihirapan dun sa mga random lines na ma-create kapag ka blino-dry niyo yung alcohol ink doon sa mismong acrylic base niyo. Maraming alcohol inks na available sa market. You can definitely play with colors, different colors. Marami din iba-ibang colors na available. This one, I'm using blue lang because we're trying to make a Father's Day cake topper. So, there. Kapag tinaob nyo yung topper, meron na siyang kakaibang texture or color. Let me just wipe the excess 
the excess, um, what you might call it, <laughs> yung <laughs> excess fluids from the first few, few few painting techniques that we did using this blank. Kasi hindi makikita masyado yung effect. Eh. It really gives a very cool effect kasi parang resin yung ginamit nyo on it. But actually, it's not. So, maganda yung, yung itsura niya. It's, it's unique and very uh, very cool na tingnan. So, yan yung itsura niya kapag ka hindi yung nilagay yung silver cardstock sa likod. But actually, the technique here when using this painting um, painting tip, dapat gamitan talaga siya ng silver cardstock sa likod or pwede din na cold, gold cardstock sa likod para mas makita yung texture na na-create ng alcohol ink natin. So, let's go ahead and put the silver cardstock the <laughs> meron sound effect tada yan di ba meron siyang lines i don't know if marino yung camera ko pero it does give a very unique kind of painting style na makikita niyo dun sa pinaka black natin kasi meron siyang mga lines na magandang tingnan talaga and kapag nilagyan niyo siya ng ng solid color na vinyl acrylic uh, na vinyl na <laughs> na <laughs> permanent vinyl <laughs> at yung mga mirrored permanent vinyl. Kitang-kita talaga yung permanent vinyl natin kasi dark yung colors na makikreate natin using alcohol inks. So, ito yung, ito yung one of my favorite techniques actually kapag ka gumagamit ng alcohol inks. And yung paint na nakikreate na natin, yung pinaka-texture na nakikreate natin doon sa ating dun sa ating acrylic black is one of a kind. It's usually one of a kind. Walang kaparehas and unique yung itsura ng topper, ornament, or placeholder natin. So yun, yun yung, yun yung mga isya na-share ko na, na painting techniques using using um, acrylic paints and alcohol inks. So yung silver card stuff, I think we also did that with our ornaments before in last year yung gumawa tayo ng 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 stained glass technique in making ornaments di ba ginamit na natin sila ng ginamit din natin yun ng silver cardstock underneath para magshine through yung yung glitter yung glitter and yung light and then maganda yung maging itsura niya so same as with this alcohol painting technique din Yung cardstock natin, ang ginagamit ko, to be honest guys, ang ginagamit ko na glue when attaching this glittered cardstock to the acrylic base ay yung alien stocky glue lang. Wala akong ibang glue na ginagamit. Um, I don't like using the silicone glue kasi ang tendency na tutunaw niya yung paint so or yung alcohol ink. So ang ginagamit ko lang yung alien stocky glue. And when applying glue, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I apply glue as well. Wait lang. Let's just let this dry for a bit while we are showing how you can make use, how you can actually put glue. Let me just pack away my gold and my alcohol inks here. Bago pa tumapo ng lahat at maging makalat ang ating table, i-pack away lang natin ang ating mga paint. Yan. So kapag naglalagay ako ng, ng glue, on my cardstock pag ilalagay pag ididikit sa acrylic black what i usually do is to put the glue using my fingers again finger finger lang ang laban <laughs> so yeah, yung glue tinidikit ko lang siya nilalagay ko lang siya sa gilid in a, in a swiping manner using my fourth finger para yung pinaka gilid lang yung malalagyan ng glue kasi kapag ka naglagay kayo ng glue sa gitna Tapos dinikit nyo dun sa acrylic base na may paint, masisira yung paint nyo. So this this technique is really good, lalo na kapag ang gamit nyo yung quick dry tacky glue. Kasi dumidikit talaga siya dun sa cardstock and hindi kayo magkakaproblem kapag ka natuyo na yung glue. It usually is very effective talaga and hindi naman masisira yung paint na nilagay nyo dun sa cardstock. So let's go ahead and try this right now para makita nyo din nga na effective talaga siya. Wait lang. Let me just spread the glue. Sa gilid lang. As in, use your forefinger and your dominant hand or use a spatula if you're not comfortable with using your own fingers. Basta yung pinakagilid lang, yung papahiran nyo ng glue in this manner para yung pinakagilid lang talaga yung madidikitan ng glue. And then you don't have to put it in agad-agad. Here. 
I'm going to be attaching the silver cardstock here. I, I'll just go ahead and make sure in the center. Maliit kasi yung nakat ko na silver cardstock, eh, but you, you, it's better if you cut the sa exact same size as you have with your acrylic block. So there. Ganun lang. And then what you have to do to make sure na naka-attach siya is use a brayer. Let me just pack away this. There. Use a brayer and maybe a sheet of paper. And just just brayer it down para dumikit yung glue na nilagay nyo dun sa glitter card stock nyo. And you make you have to make sure, by doing this, you can make sure that your cardstock is fully adhered doon sa acrylic block nyo. There. Nakita nyo yung kodigo. <laughs> May kodigo ako kung ano yung may tuturo ko. <laughs> Ginamit ko pang brayer ng, ng cardstock. So, ayan. Ganun lang. And nakadigit na siya. Usually, it's a very good technique to adhere your cardstocks, your, your glitter cardstocks to your acrylic base. So, meron na tayong magandang ornament. So, I'm excited to use this. Ornament yung ginawa ko talaga, no? Hindi cake topper. <laughs> na uwi sa ornament. <laughs> May cake topper blocks ako, pero I made use of the alcohol ink here. And nagandahan, nagagandahan kasi ako dun sa pattern na nagawa natin together. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and put my sentiments here na prepare ko using my Cricut Joy. Where is that? And I find that I have prepared some sentiments here for use. And I'm just looking for them. They're all over the place. Oh, one more technique pala. One more tip pala, guys. If you are using a large patch of acrylic paint, tapos you find na um, mabilis mag-dry yung acrylic paint, what you can do to keep your acrylic paints from drying up is this one. Usually use... Uh, smaller than this type ng lock and lock or any container na plastic na may takip. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lock and lock. Tapos, maglagay kayo ng sponge sa loob. Yung sponge, you have to make sure that it's it's filled with water. Soaking in water siya. Yung sponge na ilalagay nyo inside. And then, doon sa container nyo na may, na, na may sponge, you have to put in wax paper or any type of container kung saan nyo nilagay yung acrylic paint na minix nyo if it's a large batch. This is gonna help you guys save your acrylic paints kasi hindi siya magda-dry up. So you have to put your wax paper here and then put your acrylic paint on top or put your cup na may maliit na kung saan nakalagay yung acrylic paint. Just make sure na may sponge, na may soak with water and then you cover it. Kahit ilang hours nyo siyang iwan, kahit one week nyo pa siyang iwan, basta meron siyang sponge na soak with water inside your container, tas nandun yung acrylic paint nyo, hindi siya magda-dry. Promise. Effective talaga yun. So, kapag gumagawa kayo ng, let's say, maraming name place, name place cards for a certain event, that's a very effective way para matipid nyo yung mga acrylic paints nyo. So, nakita ko na, habang dumadaldal ako, nakita ko na yung ginawa kong sentiments earlier. So, here you go. Ito na yung ating sentiments. I'm gonna go ahead and weave this for you guys. There you go. It's as easy as that. Let's go ahead and remove the excess. And there. So we're going to be making the same world's greatest father. <laughs> we're going to correct that with father, of course, because, you know, I'm making this for my husband there. So you just have to put the line here. I'm going to get my transfer tape. Oops. I think we've already last more than an hour. Are you guys still okay? Or wag ko nang tapusin yung cake topper para mas mabilis. Ouch. Kapag ka gumagawa tayo ng cake toppers, it's also good na gumamit ng iba't ibang materials, hindi lang mga vinyls, para magkaroon ng dimensions yung acrylic toppers natin. You can actually use then ibang mga crafting materials like uh, dried flowers, um, there was one time I even mixed my my wax 
my mel melted wax, my wax beads together with my with, with my acrylic paint para magkaroon ng kakaibang texture din yung acrylic paint natin. Yung yung pinaka sentiment na ilalagay, I mean yung pinaka sentiment na ilalagay natin on our cake acrylic cake topper. So Again, if you guys are free, you can drop by my page on Instagram, Maker Meme, or Facebook. Kasi nandun yung mga acrylic um, cake toppers. Some of the acrylic cake toppers that I was able to make, nandun. Dun ko siya pinaglalagay. <laughs> so, pag nakita nyo dun, makikita nyo na meron mga painted ones. Meron din na yung iba naman na hindi painted. Meron din akong mga acrylic cake toppers dun na ginamita ng cardstocks. And then, meron din mga acrylic cake toppers na plainly ang ginamit lang ay um, crafting by, permanent crafting vinyls. So, I like using permanent crafting vinyls too, aside from um, aside from cardstocks. So, let me go ahead and burnish that. It's important to burnish your material. I forgot my scraper downstairs, so I'm going to try my best to... Mas maganda kasi kung in scraper eh, para mabilis dumikit yung sentiment dun sa... Ay, uh, so, you guys, kapag ka nag-weed out kayo ng... Nag-weed out and nag-transfer kayo ng material, make sure you use your your brayer at your your scraper para hindi kayo mahirapan like me, like what I'm doing right now. I, I'm having a hard time transferring the material because I wasn't able to burnish it because I forgot my own scraper downstairs. Let's go ahead and center this one. And make sure it's adhered well. Nasira ko yung letter E. There you go. And then let's put the father sentiment here. <clears throat> what glue? Um, well, yes, yung glue, yung glue na ginagamit ko is yung Eileen Stacky glue kasi I find that it's really easy to adhere cardstocks and other materials kapag ka yun yung gamit ko na glue. So let's just stick this here using Eileen Stacky glue as well. And let's go ahead and put small double-sided foam tapes then sa letters ng father. These are, these are also available sa Be Happy Crafts, yung mga foam tapes. You can definitely purchase foam, foam tapes there too. They have a variety of sizes and shapes available there. Meron circles, meron din yung mga maninipis. You can definitely try to check them out. And then if you are purchasing, then use the code TOP10 to, to avail of a 10% discount when purchasing cake topper materials at, Be Happy, at the Be Happy Crafts website. So again, yeah. when you're using thin, um, thin, thin double-sided foam tapes, it's best to use a tweezer para mas madali nyo siyang ma-adhere and makikita nyo kung saan nyo siya ilalagay. Kasi when not using a tweezer, then it's gonna be a little harder to center it kasi ma makikita mo lang yung kamay mo. So, let me go ahead and try to center this one. There you go. And the E and the R. Dumudugo yung kamay ko. Natusok ko yung sarili ko. With I don't know what, guys. <laughs> yes. And there. It's best to use small, uh, thinner ones para hindi siya nakikita sa topper. So I don't have a lot of time right now. So medyo hindi na i-center yung isang, yung isang, yung isang <laughs> double-sided foam tape ko. So ayan, meron na tayo. Um, this one is an ornament. It looks really cool, right? Pero you can definitely do the same and make your own cake topper at home. So you can copy the sentiment here. 
it's not going to be a problem if you want it to be a little bit witty and gusto nyo biruin yung mga fathers in your in your lives and just go ahead and do so. And yeah, I think that's it. Let me just wipe off my, my wipe, wipe wipe off my hands and answer some of the questions in the in the comment section. Do you guys have questions? Mika powder pala yan, sabi ni Hanley. Hanley. Yes, um, you can use Mika powder, but uh, the powder that I used a while ago is uh, specific for resin crafting. It's actually, they call it, um, they call it um, color, gold color powder of some sort, but it's not Mika, but you can definitely use Mika powder too kasi effective din yun. And then, what glue can you use para madikit yung cardstock sa acrylic sheet? You can use Aliens tacky glue. I swear by that glue, guys. Like, I really do. I swear by it. You can definitely try to use that glue. If you have other suggestions on glue, just go ahead and uh, write it down in the comment section too. We can try it out together. And I, I would be more than happy to post a review as well. And then, Sabi is glad. That's cool. I sure do hope so. Para madami gumamit ng top 10 na code. <laughs> Again, these codes, guys, when you use these codes, I do get commission too. So it's like you're also helping me give you more ideas on our next free demo. So may mga questions pa po ba kayo? Dior is asking, what if Dyson? Wow, Dyson. Oh, naman, pwede, pwede yun. Kasi Dyson is not hot. It's not a hot blow dryer. So it definitely can be used. When you are making alcohol painted cake toppers. So yun. Um, ano pa ba? Do you guys have more questions? Mm, anong nilalagay sa likod to protect the paint? You do, hi Lisette, you don't actually have to protect the paint. You should, lalo na if it's just for cake topper. Kasi usually naman, the paint dries up really well. And when the paint dries up, you don't, have to protect it anymore. Kasi usually, one use lang naman yung cake toppers natin in place cards, right? So you don't have to protect it that much. And Grace said, thanks, thanks so much for sharing your ideas. Thank you so much for watching and for being here, Grace. I really do appreciate all of you being here today. Again, do we have more questions? I can try to answer the questions um, as, as well as I can. There you go. Noted with thanks. Ano vinyl ang gamit natin? I used Cricut Permanent Vinyls on the demo earlier, but you can definitely purchase other brands of crafting vinyls if you want. But of course, I prefer using Cricut Permanent Vinyls because these are my favorite vinyls. So yung kanina smart vinyl yun, yung ginamit ko. And... A favorite of marbling, yes. Favorite technique than yung marbling technique. And I also like doing the gradient and the ombre ones. You can use your your hands, you can use your paint brushes, you can definitely try to play, play around. And if you've discovered the new technique of painting, then do let us know as well and share it in the groups para mas marami tayong makatry ng idea. Thank you so much, everyone. And I really appreciate everyone. Um, being here today despite this day being a weekend and supposedly being a family day thank you so much and let's hang on and uh, tune in so be happy page two because there are a lot of more demos coming up coming this month and marami din tayong mga videos tutorial videos that will be posted from my co-ambassadors in be happy crafts let's tune in and make sure to join and watch because these free demos uh, gives us a lot of learning and are definitely worth the time. So again, don't forget to code top 10 and do check out cake topper materials, vinyls, and cake topper blanks, acrylic blanks, and the Be Happy on the Be Happy website. And use the code top 10 and do give me a visit in my pages, make your main on Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you guys and have a nice afternoon.
Hello, I'm back. <laughs> so, I'm sharing. We have a share of the day. It's uh, Vivian Mary Bernice Danica. She won our um, our share of the day for today's demo. And I'm happy to congratulate you, Vivian. Do message me happy graphs for the prize. And again, thank you so much, guys, and have a nice afternoon. Have a nice, happy weekend.